Hi guys. It is a special night of Facebook Live on Melissa Fillmore and Fillmore Fitness. I'm super excited. We're here with Carrie Smith, the owner of Fit For Me All Women's Gym. Um, and we, I'm so excited to talk to her. You know, when I first met her, um, I really loved the concept of having an all women's gym and what that brings to women who are uncomfortable in a, in a regular gym um, and, and all the kind of things that make make it a little weird to come in and learn to exercise. So just a little bit of background on her. Um, Carrie Smith has opened, she opened her first gym in 2007. She's gonna tell you a little bit about that and opened a second in 2012. Um, she's been married for 19 years, super exciting. And she has three kids, three dogs, two cats. Sounds a lot like, like, <laughs> like you juggle a lot at your house as well. So, yes. I, you know, we're both moms. Um, we're both women, we have a lot going on in our lives, but we make it happen. Um, and I love the fact that she's got a very powerful thing going on. It's it's really fun to, to be around her. So how are you doing tonight, Carrie? I'm good, Melissa. All right, so <laughs> I know. It's, it's a little disconcerting to, to be on, on film for the first time, but we're, we're good. We're gonna have a good time tonight. So, um, you know, one of the things that I love about um, about your concept, I mean, it is an all women's gym. And so what? how did you come up with that and, and what brought this about? Um, well, my husband and I opened a gym in Richland 19 years ago, so it was the original 24-hour gym, Smitty's Gym, we're still there, um, in the Uptown, and I'd gone there for years, of course, working out, but something always felt like it was missing for me. Um, I was, grew up in the 80s, um, I did videos, I did group fitness classes, jazzercise, um, you know, all the 80s oh, fun yeah. Oh, yeah. dance classes. Um, and that's what motivated me. So with Smitty's, it was a, a workout gym, no classes, and we were trying to expand it. Long story short, um, didn't feel right, so that's kind of how Fit For Me happened. Um, awesome. I had gone to a women's only gym in the 80s, and, and I knew how I felt going there, so I wanted to bring that back. Um, yeah. To the ladies. Okay. And you know, it's not just classes, even though that is a huge part of Fit For Me, and the women love it. Um, this place is busy every night. We're actually in the Kennewick gym. There's also one off of George Washington Way in Richland, um, and that, I believe that was the original. Well, not in that location, but the, orig the Richland one was. It was the original. Um, Ten years ago, I opened that. It was on Aaron Drive, and then right. we just moved it in October off George Washington Way to so, Bigger and Better. Yeah. Yeah, both both places have moved. There's yes. this great things. You know that when you grow out of your location, it's time to, you know, it's time to upgrade a little bit. So, how did you end up opening the second location? The second location was actually um, not in the plans at all because the first gym opening up the women's gym was a lot of work and a lot <laughs> of time and it. dedication. Yeah. And I, the the original women's only gym was in Kennewick and they were going out of business. It was the original gym that I okay. grew up going to okay. with my mom um, in the 80s and 90s. And um, they were going out of business so I decided to, to go in and just check to see if there was any equipment we, we might want to purchase. Okay. And it was happened to be their last day and they were having a light done right class. It was um, really geared towards seniors. And when I went in, um, Dial ride had pulled up to pick up some of the ladies, and there was tons of tears. And um, a couple of ladies just they knew I was there to buy a gym or to buy equipment. And one of the front desk gals introduced me as owning the women's only gym fit for me in Richland. And those ladies tore my heart out Aww. because their gym was closing and they'd been there for years. And um, it just rang in my ear. I was going on vacation that next week and I talked to my husband um, and I felt like it was a calling for me to open up a second location for them. Um, I knew that the other gym, the Richland gym was successful and by successful it had nothing to do with money. With numbers, right. It yeah. Was, yeah. Success to me was based on the amount of women's lives that we had changed. I love and, that. Um, it, yeah. it worked out so eight months later we found a location and moved right in and um, grew out of that one after five yeah. years and then now we're over here just down the street on Clearwater yeah and it's a great location it's it's so spacious at this point I love that so very exciting notice how many people are on there that's pretty exciting isn't it 
So, got a question that somebody's asking if we're personal trainers. Um, I don't know, good eyes. <laughs> I've had LASIK, it's awesome. Wow. Um, yes, I am a personal trainer. I get to actually train out of this gym, which is a lot of fun. Get to teach women how to utilize equipment. I will tell you that it's, like I said, it's not just classes, even though that's an incredible part of, of it. Um, the women love it. Um, there's weights, there's, you know, there's some machines, there's actually some free weights in here, um, cardio equipment, um, there's actually a, a training room, there's a group training room, there's lots of options here. So if you haven't figured out your groove or if you're not sure, come in and check it out. That way you can kind of see what might work for you. And we're open 24 hours. Yes. So Which that is, is a huge benefit. Yeah. Definitely, especially in a town where we have, you know, some people that work some shift work oh, yeah. um, and, you know, might not be able to utilize a gym in, in regular business hours. Yeah. You know, they just have their little key swipe, which is awesome, right? Yeah. So I know that we talked a little bit about inspiration and I, and I see a lot of that. I see a lot of the postings on, on social media because, of course, you know, it's changing women's lives. Um, so what, um, what kind of inspiration do you see? What kind of things have happened in the last few years? Gosh, you know, I've seen, well... Just walking in the door and seeing my trainers working with their ladies is inspiration. Um, there's been so many things that, you know, I might be having a bad day and somebody will come in and walk through the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you for months. Yeah. And I'm, their picture pops up on the screen and I have to show them, look at where right. you've they don't look started. Anything I mean, like the it, pictures right? are amazing. Um, that's inspiration to me. The, the senior population here is, is a huge inspiration. Um, seeing their progression, we've had so many amazing stories of um, you know, gals that have come in after strokes, after hip surgery, right. knee surgery, and just to, to, just to see their progression and know that it's never too late to change. Right. It's never too late to gain strength, um, your confidence, and um, balance. Is yeah, huge and I, I think agree. we all work together because right. without your strength and your balance you don't have confidence to do a lot right. in your senior age and I know personally yeah well and, and <laughs> I've, I've noticed that you know especially with that balance and that strength you know, they want to remain independent and have a good quality of life and when that kind of disappears the core strength is gone the balance is gone all of a sudden that they're no longer dependent or they're no longer independent they have to rely on other people and make some choices with living and so our goal is to keep them as independent as long as possible at least that's how yeah. I want to live so that's that's a really good one it's like I said we I love the concept because we just see such amazing things happen and see um, that it, it changes women's lives you know when you look good you feel good and when you feel good it gives you confidence and when you have confidence you affect other people in a positive way and that's what that's what we love about what we do it's it's very exciting and I'm getting goosebumps just talking about <laughs> it so um, how do you feel we kind of cover this but you know how do you feel that exercise empowers women um, exactly what you said. If you if you feel good, yeah, it kind of it radiates. It, it does radiate. It? You 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 feel like you look better. Um, for me, when I'm feeling stronger, I it empowers me. It makes me yeah. more confident. Um, but I always like small goals. So when I when I have a big goal in mind, I break it down. So I have really small goals, and when I achieve those small goals. That's empowering to me. Definitely. Because it's I, success. Yes. Right? And I like to share that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's important. And, and I think, yeah. yeah, it is important to share. I mean, any little goal that you achieve in the gym, I think it's so important to share it with your neighbors, your friends, your family, because yeah. your story, it might be something really small to you, but that could be what changes absolutely somebody else's fitness journey right when it when it's a community and everybody supports each other and 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 to know that other people have obstacles and maybe how they ever overcame them you know it, it just makes us feel okay I'm normal I can do this it gives us it gives us that knowledge that we have the power in ourselves so it's very exciting isn't it yes. I, I love that part of it so um, is there any advice that you would give to someone who just really just doesn't know where to start um, like I said, especially as women um, it can be intimidating to walk into a gym um, I know that that's what you know a lot of people join gyms and then never go because of that reason so what advice would you give to someone who's kind of afraid to get started um i would just advise you and i tell ladies that come through the door if they're gym shopping go gym shopping you need to find where you're comfortable if you don't feel comfortable when you walk in the door yeah. you will not be successful and that's not our goal it's it's not about how many people we can get in here 
are just quality, not quantity. So we want you to be successful and come to the gym as many times as you can during the week. And if you don't feel comfortable here, then there's something right. else out there for you. Right. Yeah. It's there's something for everyone. But again, it's if you saw how many people come in and the smiles that are on their faces <laughs> and um, and again, there's nobody staring. There's nothing weird. Everybody's comfortable talking to each other, asking questions. The front desk staff is amazing. All of the trainers. And let me just tell you, the group instructors, I'm so in awe because I just, I don't think I could do it. Um, as for Zumba, oh yeah, super cute when Melissa tries to do that. That's why you don't <laughs> see her doing Zumba. I've tried. I've tried. It's not because I haven't tried. I've tried that. So, well, I really appreciate your time. You know, it's like I meet the greatest people in what I do, and, and I want to make sure that people know that this is available. There's there's something for you out there. Um, if you're interested in checking out the gym, the address, the, I gotta look, because I gotta make sure I get this right. The new address is 6713 West Clearwater in Kennewick. Um, you can also visit, let's see, there's a website, and what is the website? It's fitformetwofour.com. Okay, right. I, I knew there's some extras there, so I want to make sure we got that. There's also the second gym or the, the other location um, off George Washington Way, and I, I don't know what the complex is called now. Um, it's just moved. It's no longer on Aaron Drive. It is right there off of George Washington Way. Um, if you're getting off at that exit, it's on the right-hand side. Cross from Roasters. Cross so. from Roasters, yep. Um, it's, like I said, lots more space, so if you were there before and you felt a little cramped, it's, it's spacious. It's spacious at this point. So. And mamas, we have childcare. They do locations. have childcare, and and again, I, and that's important. I know that that's kind of a struggle, especially oh, yeah. for you know for moms of young children. And so you can still get your workout in. There's there's no obstacle you can't overcome, right? We're we're everybody's willing to help you with that. So, um, any last words? Um, just come visit us. Come see what we're all about, and don't be afraid to to do your gym shopping and do your research. And yeah, um, check it out. Come check us out. So I believe um, in life that everything happens for a reason. Um, things might not go exactly the way that they plan, and sometimes you get shoved off the cliff in order to find a new, a new way of things. It's the whole when, 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 they, when God closes a door, he opens a window, something to that effect. I'm so great with quotes. <laughs> um, but I'm so grateful to know Carrie, and I've met some in absolutely incredible people through working here. I love it. Um, and hopefully you have been inspired to take the first step to get out of the house, go do something new. I want you to feel good about yourself and I want you to be successful. I am your biggest fan. So have an incredible night and we'll talk to you later.